On this episode of OBD for Everyone, we're going to use an app called Dash Command to find out why our check engine light is on. Our 1999 Nissan Altima has a check engine light on, so let's understand why. We have our scanner plugged in, the engine's running, the iPad is connected to our Wi-Fi OBD scanner, and we're going to start up Dash Command. So now, as we can see, it's connecting, and we are now connected. So let's go to Diagnostics, and here we can see we've got two stored codes and one pending code. We'll go to Engine Codes. Okay, we've got a PO325, which is a knock sensor circuit, and a P1402, which is showing up as a known diagnostic trouble code. What that really means is it's a manufacturer specific trouble code and this program doesn't know what that means. If we have the shop manual, it will tell us. Or of course, if we go to Google and do a search for this year and model of vehicle, we'll have a much better idea of why that code has come up. And when we look down below, we can see we have a pending code. In a nutshell, for a check engine light to come on, generally the fault has to happen twice. When it just happens once, it is a pending code. Now there's some exceptions to that, but overall that's kind of the rule. Most people, once they're here, they want to come down on the bottom and click on clear codes. We don't want to do that. If we do that, we will lose a lot of valuable diagnostic information like our freeze frame, our mode six, our emissions monitors, which means we would fail any upcoming emissions test until those monitors have had a chance to run. So generally don't do that. We have the code, let's go to Google, do some research and see what's there. We'll come back here, come back out of here, and that's how you read a check engine light with dash command. 